Hi, and welcome to the So Many Things YouTube channel. I'm Tim, your host. Here, you get to sew with the boys, quilt with the boys, embroider with the boys, and of course, mostly, have some fun, and you might learn something along the way. Stay tuned! I thought I'd take a moment here and explain to you, or at least list you, some of the stabilizers that are available for embroidery. Just to give you an idea, there's a lightweight tearaway, a medium weight tearaway, a heavyweight tearaway, a heavyweight soft tearaway, a medium weight soft tearaway, a tear and wash, and an easy tear. That's just in the first group. In our second group, we have a light cutaway, a medium cutaway, a heavy cutaway, no show light stabilizer, no show regular stabilizer, and a polypro stabilizer. These are all kind of specialty stabilizers. And then in our third group, we have water soluble, peel and stick, fuse and tear, sew and wash, adhesive sew and wash, fuse, sew soft, sew and heat, and stick and wash. So we don't stock all of these stabilizers. We keep the basic ones around, the ones that people commonly purchase. If somebody wants one of those specialty ones, we're more than happy to order it for them. As a new beginning embroiderer, you should have a light tearaway, a medium tearaway and a cutaway. Those are the ones you're going to want to get used to using because those are the ones that are most often used in most of our projects. A light tearaway has an advantage over using a heavy tearaway is I can use two layers. Then I can gently rip one layer away and then rip the other layer away just in case I needed that extra little bit of support on the fabric and the embroidery I was working on. Things like that you'll learn as you work with your machine and you work with doing embroidery patterns. Now not all embroidery requires a stabilizer. Some of it's very light and you can get away with sewing with no stabilizer or with a minimal stabilizer like a water soluble, one that's very soft and, and pliant and will just wash away and go away. Embroidery that is oftentimes done on knit, you might want to consider using a water soluble. If you find yourself doing a lot of embroidery on knits, then definitely keep a water soluble stabilizer around for those instances when you're not doing very heavy embroidery. Now if you're doing heavy embroidery on a knit, something like the logo on our shirts, if I was to put this on a knit shirt, a water soluble stabilizer would not handle that. I would need to put a cutaway behind it to give the embroidery some stability. The knit is too flimsy and it'll just, it'll just curl up. It'll look nasty when you're done. So keep in mind that you don't need to have all of these stabilizers when you're first starting out. Two or three should suffice to get you going. Then as you work with it and you decide what you're getting into with the embroidery, you can then add to the stabilizers. When you're buying your machine, don't buy short. Buy something you have a little room to grow into. The idea of buying a 4x4 four four inch hoop when most of the patterns you're looking at are 5x7 or 6x9, you've already started yourself with a limit. So you might want to look at those machines that do a little bit bigger pattern just so that you have something to grow into. We always need to have a place to start. That doesn't mean you need to start at the top and work your way down or I overbought. Then you definitely won't feel good about doing embroidery because you'll feel like you've bought more than what you can handle. So you might want to start in that lower to mid-range machine and give yourself room to grow into it so that in four or five months you haven't outgrown it. Then in a year or two you can say, oh, now I need a bigger machine so I can get up to that larger machine. Guess what? Stabilizers stay the same no matter what machine you're using. Stabilizers are there to provide stability. It's not the machine's fault if the embroidery pattern screws up because the stabilizer is wrong. So keep that in mind when you're looking at your machines and you're out there shopping for stabilizers. Hope you found the video helpful. Thanks for watching. <laughs>